our tale of the tape for this all right guys welcome back to the very last ufc 234 fighter showcase today we are using kelvin gastelum in the middleweight division we are facing robbie lawler of course kelvin gastelum is challenging for the middleweight strap he's facing robert whitaker and uh, i actually prefer using kelvin gastelum in this weight class he just feels better to me. The way Robert Whitaker flows with his with his punches just feels weird, but Kelvin, Kelvin feels just right. So, we're gonna touch it up. Thank you. Let's see if we can do a little bit of a. Uh, see if we can throw hands a little bit. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. They're certainly getting after mm -hmm. I like that lead hook with Kelvin. I like using it. Looping left hand misses the target. Oh, there he connected. Oh, he got cracked with the jab there, Joe. And his head is firmly on the center line, the one place it really can't afford to be. He's showing some vulnerability here by leaning right into his opponent's range. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here. Blocks the shot. Beautiful jab by Kelvin. As always, we're not going to force any roll. Like this dude is pushing forward right now. We're going to give ground. He's backing up. We're going to push forward. I do prefer being the, the guy moving forward when I'm using Kelvin, though. I just feel like he, he feels a lot better when you're pressuring. So I'm going to try to use him like that. But like I said... I'm not going to force anything. Trying to establish that jab once again. Woo! One more. Both fighters throwing heat now. Excellent defense here. Really oh, I'm rocked. Vicious attack by Lawler. And now Gaston's All right. I was a little bit too aggressive right there. I, I did say I wasn't going to push it, so. He blocks the puck. Let's try to keep things cleaner. Very impressive. Big shot there. Oh, straight right. I'm trying to see if I can... Land that pull. Where is it? Snaps off the jab effectively there. There we go. That's one. Oh, he's getting some hip in that one. Doing a fantastic job of blocking shots. One, two by Kelvin. Right hand on. Point. Nice. Nice combination. Punch coming. It's blocked. That was clean. Uh-huh. Sit him down. No, 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 no. God damn it. They switched corners on me. Don't be switching cameras on me, man. God dang it. All right. I'm fine. Damn. This dude is literally against the cage. Look at this. Get off the cage, bro. Just tagged him with the right hand there. It's over. This is done. There we go. Kelvin Gastelum, man. His hands flow so beautifully. Beautiful knockout for the KO So beautiful with the with the boxing, man. I am really looking forward to this fight. I want to see how he handles Robert Whitaker. Especially from Sao Paulo. Like right rear uppercut and sit him down there we go and we finish the fight I'm gonna see if I can do three fights today like I said I really enjoy using Kelvin so I won't mind going up to four fights even all right be right back both fighters are 26. Mirror match. And they have the same height and reach. <laughs> match. We go to Bruce Buff. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the U.S. See, I'm starting to notice a lot of people also doing their own fighter showcases for themselves. Like, when there is a, a fight coming up, you start to notice a lot of players picking the characters. Like, I'm seeing a lot of Kelvin Gastelums. I'm seeing uh, a lot of... Um, Robert Whitaker's. You want to touch? Thank you, sir. Let's get it. I'm in the blue corner, by the way. 
But of course, this is still the Michael Bisbing weight class. Oh, brother. He is trying to be elusive. Look at all that head movement. That lead hook is going to be money. Just miss with that right hand. Of course, we have to be very careful. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Gaston. Ooh. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Oh, strong punch there by Gastelum. Slips the punch. Checks the leg kick. Nice leg kick. A lot of like predictive head movement. Oh, that one was that one was clean. It's not really reacting. It's mostly just Watch the shot here, Joe. Well, he walks keeping his head up the center line, which is good. It's very good. Nice. Nice pull counter, bro. Oh, nice punch there by Gastelum. Oh, this is gonna be a good fight. Finds his range with the jab. He caught the kick. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he oh, rocked. He is rocked right here. He's trying to stay up. And now Sit him down. There we go. Careful going to my body, though. I am itching to hit you with a block counter, bro. To go in a back and forth first round here. One, two by Kelvin. That was a 1-1, one, one, Joe. That was a 1-1. One, one. Gets touched by that kick to the body. He's fainting with the punch. He's trying to double up on that jab. Okay, so he exits and circles away with the 1-1 one, one every time. See if we can slip and rip right How there. How about that shin? Oh, he got tagged with the right hand there. He's fainting with that punch, showing that punch. Oh! Again. Dropped. Back to his feet again. Amazing. Wow. He's making me miss, though. Like, Big body shot shot body. see that right there? That's the exit. Jab, jab. Ten seconds to go here. Let's see what happens. All right. And that was my round. I believe I dropped them twice right there. That was clean. I'm not sure if my stamina is in a good place because he was able to make me miss quite a few times, but I think we're fine. Here's a big leg kick. Whatever damage he's doing to me stamina-wise, I'm doing just as much to his chin. So let's touch it. Let's touch it. Good job, buddy. Look for him to go on the attack early in this round. Try to pick up where he left off in the last round. His opponent was Dave. Oh! I told you to be careful with that. Big body, body shot. shot there, too. Calvin cracked him there. Dude. Dude. Careful going to my body, bro. <laughs> oh, big left. Fainting with the punch. And he connects there, Joe. Well, his opponent's down uh, the to the body. Nice hook shot there. This dude is playing with fire. In trying to get into his own striking range, he's going to pay the price there to the body. Got to be careful. You don't want to eat too many of those power hooks downstairs. Well, some have gotten through, Joe. This shot is wrong. Big punch. Three minutes to go in round two. Nice. Castellum's hook shot gets blocked. The defense saw that one mm, coming. Nice. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here. I think he tried to go for an uppercut right there. The Look at that exit right there. Picked up the pace here in round two.
And he's looking for that left. Oh, oh nice. Yeah, I knew that was okay. Okay, he's doing the same thing. Okay. All right. All right. I'm gonna respect his. Uh, I'm gonna respect his uppercut. Let's be smarter with it. Good fight here. Under two to go. Nice jab by Gastelum. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. <laughs> really, two shots to my body? He's doing a great job blocking these shots. Oh, nice uppercut. Gastelum's lower jaw now, Joe, started to show some signs of swelling. Oh, big shot. Beautiful combination there. Gastelum gets stung by that leg kick. Oh, he lands another <laughs> foot there. It's been a big weapon for him here. The tonight. happy tree, bro. He's increasingly more efficient with it as this fight has gone on. Absolutely. Right hook to the body. There you go. Oh, he might be out. He's in a lot of trouble. That uppercut will come up before you can Just block. This is with the jab there. 15 seconds to go. Just out of range with that right hook. And the horn sound. Okay. Well, you never like to see a fight yeah, like honestly, that is one of the, the, the counters that I've worked on the most in this game. That block counter when you go to my body with the lead hook. Like, it, it just, it's muscle memory right now. It just, I fling that uppercut right away. Touch it. Good job. Looking to avoid that left hand. Really missed with that right hand. Oh, man. It is juicy. Whenever I see him lunge into it like that, it's like, just, oh, so inviting. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type oh, of man. pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing feed down me. tonight. Come feed me. An outside leg kick of his own. Wow. Rock again. Oh, he's getting hit. Oh, he's getting tagged. Oh. Again. Oh, look at this head movement. Good job. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Big body shot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I told you it's over. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, man. I'm, man, I'm gonna tell you, dude. I'm gonna tell you straight up. I'm gonna tell you. I am not an elite player in this game, but I am one of the best at that counter right there. I t I'm telling you straight up. There are very few players out there that are hitting the block counter off the body hook like that. Very few players. I can, I can I can confidently say I'm one of the best at that specifically. I pride myself on that. All right, let's move on. That was that was a good fight. Good job, buddy. Good job. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. There you go. There he is. It was only a matter of time before we ran into Michael Bisbank. I was uh, I was waiting for when that would happen. And uh, of course, with Michael Bisbang, it's uh, it's all about just staying safe. Honestly, um, most Michael Bisbang players tend to use him a specific way. They they charge forward, take advantage of his high stamina, and they try to overwhelm you with combinations. So it's all of, it's going to be about counter striking in this one if he plays like that. Well, Houston, Texas has been a huge market for the UFC of late. And no surprise, we are back and now on the way here from Toyota Center in the H-Town. He's fainting with that punch, showing that punch. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Well, he's uh Gastelum gets hit with a kick. He's being uh he's being patient. Look at him. He Just wants to counter. With the straight left hand. That makes things easier. Nice kick to the body by the count. And a nice kick. He's doing a great job of blocking things here. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Bisbee. Showing that punch. Oh, lands that punch. 
Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and got cracked with that It's very good to not have punches flying at my face every single second when I'm facing Michael Bisbang. It feels great. Because then we can, uh, we can make plans. Right hand upstairs. And I've got the power advantage. It's only a matter of time. Just over three minutes now to go. Try to establish that jab. Oh, tags him again with the oh. appeared to stun him. He's hurt. he's hurt. Yep, that's the head kick. kick. Always catches me. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, fortunate that one didn't land to the head. The hook shot blocked by Bisbee. Just out of range with the straight left hand. That one hurt. You feel the Man, there, Joe Rogan, the past the two Bisbee. the past two days playing this game has been amazing. I gotta say, Kelly it really has. There, using his jab effectively here, I'm just Joe. seeing players being more patient Beautiful and just jab. trying Beautiful to be smarter jab. with the way they Sharp play. Timing. And that's leading to more interesting fights and a lot of more distinct styles of play as well. Like every time I load up this game and I play rank, I'm noticing it's all about like puzzle solving. It's like just everyone just I mean you got most people copying a specific style, but I'm seeing a lot more difference in how people play. Effective strike there by Bisbee. Finds his range with the jet. The kick lands. Well, he's got a strong jab. Missed with it there, though, Joe. Switching stances here. All right, that was his round. He got that beautiful head kick. Here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. Then again, I don't know. I feel like I was able to land more shots overall, so I don't know. And here's another clean shot that Oh, they're not even showing the head kick. I think I might have won that round. All right, round two. He's definitely gonna want to start this round off fast to try to pick up. By the way, I think I deserve a like. I think I deserve a like for this one. I have stayed in Southpaw with Kelvin Gastelum. It is not easy. I'm usually terrible in Southpaw when I'm trying to box with like a shorter opponent. I mean, a shorter uh, fighter. But I'm staying in Southpaw. Can I get a like for that? He heard him with that hook. And now oh, Rocked. This could be it. Oh my gosh. Oh, he might be out. I feel like I am using Kelvin Gastelum properly, if I could say so myself. Just misses with the jab there. That's the whole right, point so of these showcases. There after he caught the leg, he decides to punch out as opposed to going for any take. Rocked again. And it's over. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Learned from that from that whiff. <laughs> when I rocked them earlier in this round, I tried to go for an overhand. He ducked it. And that's that's what you're supposed to do against an overhand. He's supposed to duck it. He ducked it, and I it was a pretty bad whiff. So made a mental note of that one. Uppercut. He leaned into it. And the fight is over. We're going to do one more fight. I mean, this is incredible. I'm having so much fun using Kelvin. We might even do two more fights. We'll see. We'll see. Let's let's get another one and see what happens. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. Your like is always appreciated. It helps out the video. Helps out the channel. Always appreciated. All right. See you guys with the next one. All right. So we are facing Michael Bisbing again. Again, the Michael Bisbing weight class. I'm surprised I haven't run into Jacare. Actually, I've I'm kind of in the mood to grapple a little bit. Like it it wouldn't be that bad if I was to run into a Jacare player that wants to take the fight to the ground. I would not mind that. I really wouldn't. Um, of course, 
Kelvin Gastelum faced Jacare Souza. And Jacare took him down. He was able to survive the grappling. He is no slouch on the ground himself. All right, let's do this. You want to touch gloves? Thank you, sir. The Dark Knight. Name sounds familiar. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here's a nice elbow from the clinch. Michael Bisping retreating here. Good one, two. Uh huh. That's what's that's what to expect when you're facing Michael. <laughs> here we go. All right, back to southpaw. Dude, let me allow me to switch. There we go. Leave me alone, buddy. Leave me alone. That slowed him down a little bit. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Blocks the shots. Caught the kick there, Joe. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Under three minutes to go in round one. Whatever role you want to play, whatever role you want to play, you want to counter, I'll push forward. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Just over two minutes to go. <laughs> oh, blocks the shot. Lands to the body there. I'm not sure what he's doing, but he started off like a bazooka with that kamikaze style, and now he's kind of, I don't know. Oh, he blocked that offense, Joe. Misses with the left hook. See right there, that's that pause I keep telling you guys about. In that pause, you gotta fire back. Can't let him just keep going. Once you notice him pause, fire back. He's fainting with that punch, showing that punch. Nice, nice. Rocked. Oh, yo. Seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. Oh! Again. The left hook hits home. Man. Kelvin Gastelum has some power, bro. That was a beautiful look at that head kick. That was a first rock. I rocked him like four times. That was the first one. Then I rocked him to the head and rocked him to the body at the same time. And then Right after that, I rocked him again to the head. Four rocks in that first round, dude. Four rocks. I didn't drop him, though, which is what I would have liked. Thank you, buddy. Look for him to go on the attack early in this round to try to pick up where he left off in the last round. His opponent was dazed and in big trouble No, in that round. no. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Fuck out of here with that. No, sir. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, shit. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Punch coming. It's blocked. And another strike block there. So a good job keeping his hands up. Obviously, they are up to protect that cut. Oh, he's got hand skills for days. Beautiful combination of punches to the head. There's that jab. Oh, oh. He's got him hurt here. He's in big, big trouble. Oh, huge shot there. Lands flush. Faints with the punch. Oh, that's a stiff jab there. And again. Ah, uh -huh. ah. Uh -huh. 
That damn pull counter be getting me in trouble sometimes too. Just over two minutes to go. This fight is no longer as clean as I wanted to. We might as well make it dirty. Well, some have gotten through, Joe. This shot is blocked. Look at the crowd freaking booing. Aren't you entertained? Like, we're out here blasting the hell out of each other and you're booing? You ungrateful sons of bitches. Set him down. Surprised he didn't move his head at all right there. And he connects with the punch. And there he swung with the haymaker. Now we're pushing him. Come here. Oh, he got tagged again. He's hurt. It's over. All done. And we are going to end the video right here. I've been playing for about an hour right now. A little over an hour. Which means this video is going to be about, I don't know, about 30 minutes. See if I can cut it short to about 25, maybe 20. Yeah, about 25 minutes. See if I can... I can, you know, cut it short of 25 minutes. I don't, I don't really like my videos being too long because then a lot of you don't even finish the video. Very few of you actually watch these videos to completion. You, you might watch the first fight. And I know some of you will kind of scroll through the video to try to see interesting parts or to see if I fought you. But for those of you that actually watch the whole entire thing, I appreciate it. It means a lot. And, uh... You guys have my uh, utmost respect because it's not a, uh, you know, I appreciate it. Just just know I really, uh, really, really appreciate it. But that does it. Thank you so much for watching. That means a lot. I will see you guys. You know what? Let me know in the comment section below if you watched the video till the end. Let me know in the comments if you did. All right. I'll see you guys later with another one. As always, stay safe. Have a wonderful day. To the top of the mountain. What a fighter.